I started my fall sewing, so I'm excited about that. And I started out with a jacket. You might remember that I purchased this fabric from Hobby Lobby. It is corduroy on one side and then Sherpa on the other. I wanted to make a jacket, so I decided to use this Butterick 5652 vintage pattern. It's from the year 1991 and I am making view B. The pattern does not come with pockets and I did want pockets. So I just made a little pocket pattern and I added pockets and I've attached the sleeves but they're not actually sewn up. I decided to use the corduroy side for the front sleeve and then there's a back sleeve piece too. I had this olive denim fabric so I decided to use that for the back sleeve. The back of the jacket is Sherpa in the middle and then there's going to be a zipper down the front. I have the zipper in. I have some elastic around the waist. I ran out of elastic because I was supposed to put some elastic around the sleeves, but I need to go to the store and get some. I did cut out a size six, and this is all woven fabric. Even the Sherpa is woven, and there will be a hood to go around the top of the neck edge. This is the jacket with the hood on. This is with the hood down. This next clip is with the hood down and a side view of what the hood looks like. And the last clip is with the jacket unzipped. Next, I wanna make this pattern, McCall's 8408, and I pulled out some scraps that I had. These are all denim pieces, and I'm thinking that I'm going to just use these pieces to cut out this pattern and just put everything together however it comes out. I think that will be fun just to experiment, and if I don't like it, I can always just make it again. I just have enough fabric here that I really don't want to have to go to the store when I can use what I already have. I plan to cut out a size six. I was looking through the pattern directions and they have really enlarged the pictures for the zipper installation. The pattern is rated as average and there are 14 pattern pieces to cut out. I noticed one small error in the cutting layout. It says cut on of pieces five, six, and 13. It should say cut one of pieces five, six, and 13. I was able to use my scraps to cut out almost all the pieces that I needed. The back piece of the pants, piece number seven, is the only piece that I didn't have enough fabric for. So my plan is to stop by Hobby Lobby today and pick up some type of denim that I can use for the back piece. These pants are gonna be really interesting because I use multiple kinds and colors of denim and I'm just gonna put them all together and see how it turns out. I had cut all my waistband pieces out of this dark denim, but since I ran out of fabric, I'm going to have to cut the back waistband in the new fabric so that they will match. So this is the fabric that I picked up. It's just a denim fabric from Hobby Lobby, and I did pick up some interfacing because I needed some more of that. So I will just cut out these two pieces. I'm going to go wash my fabric, but while my fabric is washing, I can go ahead and get started on the pants. I can't wait to see how they're going to turn out. I just finished putting in the zipper and now I'm about to stitch these two contrasting colors together. So since I have this mustard looking color pinned to a blue color, I wanted to share that for my top stitching thread, I'm using a gold color and down in the bobbin, I have blue thread. These are the colors on one leg and these are the colors on the other leg. This is the fabric that I will be using for the back of the pants. There are darts in the back. I put these markings on the wrong side but the darts will go on this side and then this is the front of the pants and these are the pockets. Here are the back of the pants with the three colors together and I did leave off the back pockets and the carriers.
just put in the buttonhole I need to open it and then I'm going to put a silver button on the other side over here and then I need to hem the pants and then I'll be all done. 